The term junk food was coined in 1972, which applies to food with little or no nutritional value. Eating just one fast food meal can pack enough calories, sodium, and fat for the entire day. In today's society, our culture is inundated with ads for junk food, which is steering our children in an unhealthy and obese direction. The evolution of food has been in full circle, as traditional preparation was based upon the raising and growth of one's own food. However, as popular culture has increased, so has the mass production of food. Slow food strives to be everything that fast food is not. It is a grassroots movement that connects food with the community and the environment and brings pleasure and responsibility together. The slow food movement has spreaded a new culture that reaches back to our roots, to the beginning of time, when people grew their own food and knew where it was coming from. As this movement continues to grow with energy and vigor, our children are becoming the next generation to pass this on to. The slow food movement is involved with the educational outreach within the communities by working with children to teach them about the growing and production of food. The movement also advocates for local farmers who grow, produce, and market their own food. The whole concept of like farm to table, so really for kids to have an understanding of where their food comes from. Um, so for most, you know, they're used to buying their food in a grocery store or seeing it, you know, on their plate and not really knowing, you know, like for um, ketchup, you know, that actually comes, starts from the tomatoes. So a lot of them don't have that understanding, so I think it's really important for them to have a better understanding of where their food comes from so they can make better, you know, healthier choices in the long run. Um, so I feel that a lot of the behavior that starts when they're a kid, you know, definitely translates as to when they're an adult, and it makes it a little bit harder for them to change their eating habits as they get older, so for them to start at a younger age. And, you know, just even just being outside and, you know, getting to play with the bird and just really having that, you know, understanding of how nature ties into, you know, food, I think is important. So. Sustainable food movement is making us aware as a culture of how our eating habits and how our everyday cons consumption habits affect the world around us. So sustainability is about having an impact on future generations. I would say, is the commercialization of our food a fad or is that something that's going to stick around? Because the fact is throughout the history of humanity, we have eaten locally, we have eaten a diverse seasonal diet. And it's only a very short time in our history in the middle of this century and the last century that we've been drawn away from that. And now we're returning back simply to where we were. So it's not that we're now, re now going to someplace new, it's simply we're going in small baby steps back in the direction that we've always been throughout humanity. Agriculture and was the key development in the rise to human civilization. However, as the 1920s began, the launch of factory farming was triggered. The term agribusiness was created to refer to the actions and regulation of modern food production. The 18th century brought in new improvements in farming techniques which made it easier to mass produce food. This method has followed us into the 20th century and expanded vastly because of new technology and techniques. Yet today, society is learning to nourish themselves from the land, and there has become a distinct awareness in the way food is produced. The veil over the public's eye has been lifted as we begin to look for new ways to grow and support sustainable foods. Let's face it, if there's change to be made, it's within those that are still forming opinions of their own, sorting out details and stringing together facts. Kids are impressionable, not yet set in their ways, and it's at this moment that it's crucial to teach them the importance of healthy diet and sustainable habits, not only for themselves, but for the earth and the economy. Perspective and attitude are the real determinants here. Putting a price tag on health and the effort and work put into the production process is a really difficult task. Our economic model and pervasive marketing strategies in the United States have conditioned many of us to expect more for less. You see it in our serving sizes. You see it in the three-for-one sales at the grocery store, the coupon pamphlets. It's a movement that we have to fight, and as consumers, we are inherently motivated to emphasize quality and sustainability. Organic and sustainable are worlds apart. 
Organic is simply the treatment of a product, the elimination of chemicals. And while yes, organic farming is one factor implied in sustainable farming methods, sustainability is a concept that expands over several fields. People are reading the labels more closely than ever before. The common person is becoming more aware of the impact that food has within their body. People are slowing down to care. And in fact, caring is becoming cool. Simple foods are fashionable. We can do the same thing with food. The fact is that right now, people don't know how to cook and eat food. People know how currently to shop for and, and buy food, but most of it's all packaged and or pre-made, you know, microwavable, frozen, convenience food. Um, as a generation, we don't know how to cook food from scratch. And we need to start now with the next generation beneath us to teach them as they grow to cook and eat as part of an everyday life so that it's not something that's an extra fun thing to do on a weekend, but simply part of the daily routine that they, that they have as they grow up. If they have that, they'll never give it up and they can pass that on in, in, for their children and, and into the future. So really, in the entire culture of human, of human um, um, civilization, we're really the only generation these last 20 years and the next hopefully 20 years or less where we don't know how to cook our own food. And it's a really dramatic shift in our culture. Um, and we need to reverse that right now. And our children are, are the way to do that. Cooking has long been known to be the way to a man's heart. The 1950s cooking was no longer about just keeping your family fed, but expressing your love for them by creating tasty and delicious meals. However, as women and men have become products of the workforce, less time and more options for fast food has flourished. With time being of essence, modern day cooking is not meal oriented, but more inclined towards cooking for several days of the week, or not cooking at all. Today, fast food or microwavable dinner options have become the essential cuisine. Yet finding a way back to home cooked meals that are healthy and nutritious is vital and indispensable for our culture which is why teaching our children and future generations how to cook should be part of their education. Basically Sprouts Cooking Club is a program that aims and strives to teach children how to cook locally and sustainably. It's based in the East Bay area, but we also have programs in San Francisco and up north in Napa Valley and down south near Palo Alto. What we do is we try to teach kids how to cook, but with real chefs and in real restaurants with real ingredients so that cooking is something fun and cooking becomes alive. Um, well, we have a separate adult cooking class um, that we usually hold once a month. Um, but for the kids, I mean, they get to take home a bag of all the produce and some of the stuff um, that we use for making today or for each cooking class. And so the hope is that they'll take it home, you know, to their mom and to their dad, and they'll actually, um, you know, make the recipe when they're at home. We include um, a copy of the recipe um, for them so that maybe, hopefully, there is that interest with the parents that they'll actually make um, that food together with them.